my name is Franche Molan. Um, we are here at Solar Europe now. Solar Europe is one of the sister companies of Envaro Automotive. And we've been testing vehicles extensively in Solar Europe's fleet for the past year and a half. And we're very happy about the testing. We're very happy about all the data that we see from the fleet management software. And yeah, we can definitely see these light commercial electric vehicles are definitely the future. At the moment, we've got a one ton electric bucket on offer, light commercial. We've got a one ton panel van on offer currently. And then we've got a four ton electric truck. We import these 14 trucks as chassis cabs. So um, we can configure it for any specific customers, a customer how they want it to be. So for, for Solar Europe, we've made it a tort liner, so it's got curtain sides, and they've put a tail lift on for them to lift up all the heavy items that they need to transport. Um, we are looking into to see if we can make this JC cab a small bus. You can, make, you can also make it a nice big game viewing vehicle. You can also make it a normal drop side. You can make it refrigeration units. So there's so many configurations that you can do on this chassis cap. And we specifically want to do that is because we are looking to have some extra local content for these um, chassis as they come in. And yeah, there's very big upside to what these vehicles can do for the local market. Um, in the future, in the next few months, we've got a 1.5 ton electric packing coming to market. And then we've got the Dayun um, S5 mini SUV that we're very excited coming to market in the next two months as well. Josh Richardson, Warehouse and Logistics Manager from Solar Europe Importers. I'd like to speak to you guys more about our perspective on the electric vehicles that we use from Enviro Auto. From a logistics point of view, uh, we use the electric vehicles almost every single day. Um, I've got three drivers driving the van, the bucky, and of course the truck all of which they can go about 200 kilometers before you actually to recharge it at the end. Well, 44 kilowatts per 100 kilometers range, there's definitely a viable solution for these vehicles, for fleets using the vehicles on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, Solar Europe runs this Fortan truck on a daily basis between Pretoria and Matrat. So we've got a fast charger system installed at the warehouse for Solar Europe in Matran as well makes 100% sense for their routes. So they've got a nice route between Jobo and Pretoria. Uh, we've got a specific driver just driving the four-ton truck, so he knows exactly what the vehicle can do and what it can't, can't do. He knows the ranges, he knows where he needs to charge. And yeah, that um, driver is very happy. Um, he says it's a very convenient vehicle to drive, very easy to drive, and he's getting a lot of attention on the road as well. So I've got this one driver, uh, he drives, he's only designated on the electric truck and he's given me a lot of positive feedback regarding the truck, um, more about how the way that the, the truck drives and also how user friendly the truck is. You don't necessarily need a code 10 or code 14 to drive the truck, it drives like a car even though it's a four ton truck. We use our electric vehicles as runarounds for our deliveries. They all charge on our off-grid solar system that we have for our warehouse. On Hescom, it costs you around 60, 70 bucks to, to charge your vehicle from uh, empty to full. But in our case, we've got a completely off-grid solar system dedicated to our warehouse and our uh, electric vehicles that it absolutely costs us nothing at the end of the day. I'd say uh, we've, we're running a completely green fleet from Solar Europe importers. We've seen in certain applications, there's already an uh, economical viable um, solution with these electric vehicles. A lot of people say electric vehicles are very expensive, but it all depends what you measure it against and what is the economics of your specific business. So a lot of people are asking questions. But what we've seen in the market is people that have already um, put solar on their warehouses, um, people that really understand all the savings that you can get with solar, when you combine that with electric vehicle, then it makes 100% sense. So in Brits, there's an office national. They've got a big solar system um, on the new building that they've built last year. And they've uh, purchased the electric van from us as well. And they're just charging that electric van from solar. So that electric van is doing the local, local deliveries um, in the area. It works 100% for them. When it comes back to the warehouse, they just put it on solar charge again. And for them, it works. And I think that is the application with these local runaround light commercial vehicles. When you combine it with solar charging, it makes 100% sense. Then it's just savings all the way. At the 200 car, one of the owners from Tempo Office National, located in Brit, we're a stationary retailer. 
And yeah, as, as I said, we in Brett, we moved buildings recently and moved premises on the 30th of August. And we kind of got to a situation where salad was an obvious option. So we moved to the cellar, expanded a little bit on that, got enough so that we can be completely off grid. And then at a certain stage, uh, it was about end of March, we we actually contacted these guys and told them we were looking at the option for electric vehicle and got the vehicle probably end March, start April and been good ever since. Initially with the vehicle, we had to charge it inside because we didn't have the EV charger up yet. So unfortunately we had to charge from the grid, which is kind of defeating the purpose, but means to an end, got the charger up and now we had the situation where we're charging during the day is when the sun is shining and the moment that the sun goes down, the charger comes out and then we'll continue the next day on. So the reasoning behind the electric vehicle is we, we offer free delivery in town and area. And what we've, we've gotten to the point now is we, if somebody wants a, a pencil, they want it now, but we can't really go deliver a pencil without taking the costs of the diesel these days into factor. But the, the electric vehicle has kind of sorted that problem out for us. Because right now I can deliver a pencil and still mark my buck and recharge again on the sun. Does not cost me a cent to deliver. From a, from a personal perspective, I really think that the electric vehicles is going to be the future. And we are already in the future and we're moving forward now with exponential growth. I think the, the electric vehicle is going to take over soon. Maybe not within the next year or two, but the future is there to come in.